the Museum of African American History in Detroit. What better place to witness history in the making? Oh, we are excited. Praise the Lord. The inauguration of Barack Obama, the first African American president of the United States. Well, not only is he the first African American president, he's like, oh my God, he's just so nice and all well around, you know? Yesterday, Americans celebrated Martin Luther King, who fought for change. Today, 1,000 students celebrate Barack Obama, who campaigned on change. I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would live to take a group of students the day after we celebrate Martin Luther King's birthday to the African American Museum to witness the inauguration of the first black president of the United States. Barack Obama becomes the 44th president of the United States. So what does this mean to Detroit, the city with the highest percentage of black residents in the U.S.? Martin Luther King said it years ago, we will either learn to live together as brothers and sisters or parents together as fools. It has to change. What does President Barack Obama mean to the home of the auto industry? I work in education, and I'm able to see the other side of it. We're talking about people who are out there who are losing their jobs right now, who don't know where the next meal is coming from, who are sitting and waiting for President Barack Obama to just say one word to impact their lives. And, so and finally, what does President Barack Obama mean to the people of Detroit? It means hope for everybody, because when you consider that we came from slavery and to now the presidency of the United States, it really upholds that the United States is a great country. You know, it's a great day. I want to have fun, you know. Uh, you know, it's, it's been good, like, because, you know, I was just talking to my grandma last night. She said she never thought she would see the day when we had a uh, black president. And, uh, you know, I never, I never thought I'd see it that day either. But as a, a young black man, I feel like, you know, I, can, uh, I probably could do something with my life and be successful also. It was a history-making day at the Museum of African American History. Busloads of school kids took in what many are calling the biggest presidential moment in generations. Young and old watched and listened in awe as Barack Obama was sworn in as the 44th president of the United States, the country's first black president. I feel that I'm there in spirit, and that's important to me. My brother lives in Canada, and he told me that they have 100 people from Canada in the front row. And so that makes me feel good. I'm not there, but I'm here, and I'm there in spirit. It's an interesting day in uh, American history. It's an African-American man in the White House. I'm proud to be African-American. I'm proud to say that I've been to see it. I'm proud we're making history.